Editing PDFs is a huge deal for professionals, students, and pretty much everybody. And the iPad is really awesome at doing it, if you have the right apps for the job. Now wait a minute, Tech Dad, aren't we getting the new Preview app with iPadOS 26? Yes, you are, and Preview is great, but it is a very basic PDF editor, hence why it's free. So in this video, I'm talking about pro-level PDF editing. I'm talking about being able to interact with the text on the PDF, to edit it, delete it, change it, add to it. I'm talking about interacting with the images on a PDF, resizing them, moving them, deleting them, or even adding new images. I'm talking about using OCR so when you scan in a piece of paper, you can change that PDF so you can actually interact with the text. I'm talking about pro-level annotation and markup tools and even using AI so you can search or chat with a PDF and just get what you need to know out of it and move on with your life. Now, for a lot of people, the go-to is Adobe, but I really don't like most of the Adobe apps, mainly because they're so complicated. You basically have to have a PhD in Adobe to understand how they work. Adobe is also extremely expensive for their subscriptions. So in today's video, I'm going to give you an alternative app to Adobe called UPDF. It's much cheaper and it has a great app on the iPad where you can do professional level PDF editing. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so my first example, I am a teacher and I'm going to use a PDF that talks about Abraham Lincoln that I use with my students every year. And so to get this PDF into UPDF, there's a little plus button in the bottom right corner and you can just use that. And I like to select from files and just grab that PDF and it uploads right into the app. So let's say I want to change the text on this PDF. So there's a little toolbox in the top left corner. You can select that and then select edit. Once you select edit, you can select text pieces on the PDF. The app automatically recognizes it and you can just tap into the text and start editing. You can delete text, you can add to it, and you can select a large piece of text if you want to delete a whole bunch at once. That's incredible and something you don't get with basic PDF editors. You can also move the text around. So if I want to grab the title and put it on a different page, I can just copy that title and paste it into the next page. For some reason, these handouts that I use, the reading is always on the second page, and I like my students to actually do the reading first. So with UPDF, you can rearrange the pages. So you can select that toolbox, select to edit the pages, you can move pages around, or you can even delete pages that you don't want. It makes it super simple and easy to do that. In addition, with that edit button, you can also edit the images that are on a PDF. So for example, this picture of Abe Lincoln, if I'm moving the pages around, I might want that on the first page. So I can resize the image, I can select to copy it and paste it, and then I can delete it off of the page that I don't want. That's really awesome to be able to completely rearrange and edit a PDF so that it works for you. You're not going to be able to do that in the preview app, I promise. Something else I like about UPDF is that you can add a watermark, and that's very easy to do. So if you select tools from the main page, you can select to add a watermark. This is very useful in my project management job. So to add a watermark, you can simply add the text that you want. You can actually change how see-through and clear it is, which is really nice. You can change the size of the watermark, and you can change the angle at which it appears. This is so quick and easy to do. I actually love these tools. And you can see that there's a whole bunch more tools to explore in this app, but watermark is a very common thing that people need to do. All right, another powerful tool is using OCR. So have you ever scanned in a piece of paper and yeah, it's a PDF, but you can't really interact with it. You can't copy the text. It's just this static image. Well, with OCR, you can convert this image PDF into a PDF where you can actually interact with it. And so to do that, you can select from the toolbox and you can select OCR. And when you do that, it will throw your PDF into a cloud service folder within the app. You can go to that folder and then you can start to interact with the PDF. And in this example, I scanned a piece of a textbook. You can even see my fingers in it. Good job, Tech Dad. But with OCR, now I can interact with this PDF and I can even grab the text, copy it, and paste it into another application such as the Notes app. That's really handy when you need to interact with the document and not just get a picture of it. Okay, so let's talk about some advanced markup tools. So an app like Preview will give you some basic markup capabilities, but UPDF has a whole lot more than just the basics. So first of all, you get all kinds of stickers so you can dress your PDF up. I think this is great for students and it's great in the professional world when you're trying to point something out. Or if you're just taking notes in your own PDF, there are some really advanced tools. So let's take a look at this PDF that I have. So currently I'm trying to renew my PMP, my Project Management Professional Certification. And there's a huge 19 page PDF from the PMI website. Well, if I want to make some call outs in this PDF, I can use stickers and they even have
have little text box with arrows built into them so you can point out something specific, write some text about it. This is actually really useful for note taking inside a PDF. There are lots of tools for drawing as well. So you can highlight as you please, draw on the PDF, and there are just more colors and customization options than a basic editor has. So I really love the ability to mark up a PDF. What's really cool though, is you can actually use AI to search the PDF and even chat with the PDF. So at the top right corner, you have a button where you can click AI. UPDF will do some work in the background and then it will give you a summary of this PDF. And so I don't have to comb through the whole 19 page document. Now I can chat with the PDF and start to ask it specific questions, such as how many credits do I actually need to renew my PMP? Well, it will give me a whole synopsis of that in just a few seconds, as well as some details that I need to know. That is super awesome as a professional, a student, or just anybody who's trying to gather information out of an enormous PDF document. So you gotta try out the AI capabilities, they're fun. There are lots of other available features on this app that you can do. You can add digital signatures, you can combine PDFs with this app. This app has form recognition, so it's easy to fill out forms if you just wanna type through a bunch of fields quickly. This is your one-stop shop for PDF editing and PDF use. With this app, you can also convert PDF to Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. I really like that feature. And even though I've demonstrated this app on the iPad, it's actually available on all platforms. So you can get access to your PDFs and everything you've edited on any device. It's pretty killer. They also have excellent service. They have money back guarantees. They really want to earn your business. Okay, so that's my rundown on UPDF. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope I showed you the differences between pro level editing and just basic editing. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the app and how you can purchase it or get a subscription for it. They have both options, which I really like. If you just want to make an outright purchase, you can do that and just own it forever. If you have a question about UPDF, please leave a comment below. I'll take a look at those. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.